1FC 11 Total Domination was live here on Fight Network from Kalang, Singapore, where the main event pitted bantamweight champion Suchul Kim against interim champ Bibiano Fernandez in a title unification bout. It didn't take long for Fernandez to put the fight on the mat, where he spent most of the first round in top control, even coming close to an arm triangle at one point. The two would get back to trading briefly through the second, but Fernandez was intent on grinding his opponent out on the ground. They'd get a chance to trade on the feet a bit in the third and fourth, where Kim was putting together some solid combinations, but by this point, Fernandez was in clear control of where the fight was going to take place. Kim had a bit of a resurgence in the fifth, landing a right hand and getting Fernandez backing up, but it'd be too little too late. With the unanimous decision, Bibiano Fernandez unifies the titles to become the promotion's undisputed bantamweight champion. 1FC lightweight champion Shinya Aoki made his featherweight debut in the co-main event as he took on Tiger Muay Thai pupil Cody Stevens. After some light exchanges, Aoki found out in a hurry that this fight was going to be all about pain management. Oh, that was right to, oh, that was not good at all. Lucky us we get to see the whole thing again. Oh. That's just gratuitous violence right there. Yeah. Yeah. There is just no game planning for a strike like that. Aoki would recover after several painful minutes and went straight to work with a grinding top game. Stevens attacked from the bottom as best he could, but was mostly smothered through the first two frames. Near the end of the second round, Stevens would again be in trouble for illegal strikes, this time to Aoki's spine, earning himself a yellow card and a one-point deduction in the process. Stevens tried to engage with his stand-up in the third, knowing he was behind on the scorecards, but Aoki would never really let him into this fight, as he'd cruise to an unquestionable unanimous decision. Earlier in the evening, Aoki's Evolve MMA teammate Eddie the Magician Ung squared off with 6-2 Malaysian veteran Peter Davis. Ung went on the attack immediately, swarming Davis with shots in the opening seconds. Davis managed to reverse into top position briefly, but a good magician always keeps a trick or two up his sleeve. Ung would pull out a reversal of his own and, ta-da, the beautiful armbar submission victory now moves him to 7-1 and, and extends his win streak to 5 straight. 50-fight veteran Rafael the Machine Silva made his promotional debut at Total Domination, facing judo specialist Tatsuya Mizuno in a light heavyweight affair. One of C's unique scoring rules played a big factor in this one as the outcome may have been different in most other MMA organizations. One FC fights are judged on the fight as a whole rather than round by round, so even though Silva won the first two rounds by traditional scoring, a thrilling third round beatdown by Mizuno changed the outlook of the fight completely. He did a ton of damage in that final frame and was able to steal a unanimous decision victory for his efforts. Earlier in the evening, American wrestler Jake Butler was taken past the opening stanza for the first time in his career as he had his hands full with Francis Sylvain Potard. It would take less than a minute for Potard to give him a very rude introduction to the second round. Oh, left hand from Potard drops Butler. And now he's getting oh, he's out. out. He's, out. he's out. Oh, wow, what a finish. Au revoir, Monsieur Butler. Potard scores the first KO of his career in emphatic fashion. Shannon Warachai was out for retribution after his 2012 win over Mitch Chilson was overturned to a no contest due to illegal soccer kicks. He wasn't going to leave anything to chance in the rematch, absolutely smashing Chilson with similar kicks before putting his lights out with a pair of heavy punches to earn the knockout. You can see Mitch curling up there in that left hand straight down the pipe was lights out. 